see hello everyone it's Charlton please subscribe to my channel tap the notification bell I'd appreciate it majorly all right so you know I saw the story a couple days ago about the guy who who jabbed a woman like in a grocery store with it with a syringe you know and there's surveillance of it he was arrested on Tuesday, I believe, and I think this this incident, though the surveillance is from from February 18th. So, but he was arrested on Tuesday. I guess they got the evidence together, whatever. And they do believe there are other victims. I think there was a couple others that he tried to do it to, you know, and was unsuccessful in actually penetrating the person. This person got jabbed, you know, flat out. And they've arrested the guy. Okay, you know, his name is Thomas Stem, and this is in. Churchton, uh, Churchton, Maryland, which is just outside of Washington, D.C., by about 25 miles or so. I guess it's a suburb of Washington, D.C. You know, and they arrested him on first, first and second degree assault, as well as uh, some some endangerment, um, um, reckless endangerment, reckless. So first and second degree assault and reckless endangerment. You know, when they arrested him, I believe they found another syringe. They found a syringe in his car and multiple syringes in his house. House, I guess they arrested him at his home. And he lives not far from this woman that he jabbed. Her name is Katie Peters. I think I already said his name, Thomas uh, Byron uh, Stemmen. You know, and it's crazy because the uh, it's totally crazy. It, it, and the, the judge was actually, you know, refused to let him out on bail because it was such a bizarre, you know, a bizarre crime. You know, and and this woman, you know, after, let me just play, play the uh, quickly. You know, the, the the surveillance footage of it. She totally, you know, you see you clear it, see it as clear as day, and she knows right away that she just got, you know, something happened. So he's behind her, and he kind of pulls his hand out of his pocket right there, boom, and just does it to her, and she knows right away. And supposedly he said to her, you know, like, well, you know, doesn't that does it hurt? It hurt. It feels like a bee sting or something like that. You know, doesn't that hurt? It feels like a bee sting. I don't know how he would know that unless he maybe did it to himself just to see what it would feel like, which wouldn't surprise me. But so, you know, it says here in this report, which is just from a couple of days ago, that, um, you know, the judge refused to let him out on bail. You know, the judge declared that the suspect, Thomas Stemmen, 51 is too much of a risk to the public to be let out of jail due to the disturbing and absolutely bizarre nature of the charges against him, reports our sister station WBFF. Investigators don't know what, if anything, was inside the syringe that the victim of the assault caught on surveillance tapes uh, tape is believed to have gotten uh, been stabbed by. So they tested it, and that's what just is being reported now by the... Um, what is it? The uh, I forget the name of the county. In Arundel uh, County Police, that it was uh, well, they found like I said, they found I think a, a needle in his possession, one in his some in his one in his car, and multiple ones in his house, and I believe all of them were tested. Uh, it was his semen, you know, his sperm in in the needles, which you know. Um, is equally scary, you know. I mean, I, this woman she rep she reports that when it happened, you know, she was obviously startled by it. Then I think she inspected herself on her way home because I think she was returning the cart. She had finished shopping and she was going to be going home. She saw a, pu a puncture wound and it, it started to feel, you know, like it wasn't. It started to get feel worse, you know, the pain or whatever. And, um, you know, she was scared, you know, I, I, I would be terrified, man. And she actually like called her son, told her, told her son, I love you. You know, I'm not sure if I'm going to make it home, you know, like, um, you know, who knows what's going to happen. Somebody jabs you with a needle. God only knows what's in it. And you could be think that, you know, death is on the way, you know, totally. It's, it's very, very scary, you know? Um, and, uh, but frankly, having found out what was in it, I, it's still equally scary. Now that woman, who, and, uh, you know, obviously she's going to have herself tested for whatever, you know, I mean, God only knows, you know, I don't know if he was just doing that because he's some, he's obviously something's wrong, you know, but uh, whether he's infected himself and he's trying to, inf and I don't want to scare this poor lady, you know, um, I doubt that. I mean, he seems fairly healthy in his photos, you know, but um, I think he's probably just got some kind of deranged sense of whatever, dude. It's just totally nuts. 
So, um, I mean, that's pretty much the, uh, the whole story there. It's just uh, highly unusual. I guess he remains in jail. And that judge, good call, you know, for sure, dude, you know. So, uh, but that's what's what, that's what was in sh the syringes. And they're asking, they're asking, the police are asking for the public's help with anybody who's, you know, been, you know, assaulted by this guy. I mean, they basically put this information out there on February 28th, 2020. The Ann Arundel County Police Department learned that the substance inside the, in the syringe from the 218, February 18th assault was semen. Additional testing and investigations are underway. Detectives believe that there may be additional victims who have yet to report similar incidents. This investigation is extremely active. Additional charges may be uh, applicable. Anyone with any information is asked to call Southern District 410-222-1960 or the tip line 410-222-4700, you know. So, uh, you know, it's, it's scary, and uh, it's obviously highly unusual, too, but it's more scary, you know, I mean, uh, the poor lady, and now, um, you know, so, but uh, that's pretty much the story there. Steeman, Steeman is accused of stabbing Katie Peters with a syringe at Christopher's Fine Foods in the 5500 block of Shadyside Road in Churchton last Tuesday. Video footage showed the incident happened inside the entrance to the store near the grocery carts. The incident happened on February 18th in the parking lot of the grocery store. Police released the video on Monday showing a man walk behind a woman near the entrance of the grocery store near the cart return. In the video, you see the man motion to poke the woman with something as she puts away the cart. The woman motions like she was poked with something sharp and can be seen yelling. Peters told... Katie Peters told WJZ she remembers St Steeman bumping into her and then fe uh, feeling something that felt like a cigarette burn. He turned to me and said, I know, it feels like a bee sting, doesn't it? Peters said. On her way home, Peters then began to feel discomfort and found a puncture wound. I started driving home and it started hurting really bad. I called my son, son and said, something's not right. I hope nothing happens. I hope I make it home. I love you. Police said they found another needle in St Steeman's possession and another in his car. The, police, uh, the prosecutor said Peters lived down the street from Steeman and that Steeman had come into contact with two other people but didn't successfully inject them. Detectives believe there may be other victims. But over here it also says that they, there were multiple, um, you know, multiple syringes in his home. They found a large syringe filled with a liquid in his car as well as more syringes in his home which turned out to be his semen, you know. And that's the story there, man. That is the story there. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below. I'll see you in the next video. Later, man.